is new leadership at Lemoyne Owen College in Memphis. This morning, Dr. Christopher Davis officially became the 14th president of the institution. Davis had been interim president after the sudden resignation of Dr. Vernell Bennett Fairs. And he has served in that role for two and a half years. WREG's Mike Suriani has more on today's announcement and what's ahead for Memphis's only historically black college. It is a tremendous honor to stand before you as the 14th president of Lamorne One College. <laughs> Dr. Christopher Davis ready to roll Monday as new president of Memphis's only historically black college and university, pledging a new era of growth, transformation, and communication on every level of the LOC community. Your voices, experiences, and insights are invaluable and I am committed to fostering an environment of open dialogue and mutual respect. President Davis, who served as interim president following the resignation of Dr. Vernell Bennett Fairs after just two and a half years at the LOC helm, says student enrollment is trending up, and he anticipates a 30 to 35 percent increase this fall over the previous semester. And he says the college has settled its accreditation issues. Sex has reaffirmed our accreditation for 10 years, and the best part is with no findings. So when you look at an institution our size, listen, that is, that is phenomenal. The college enjoys financial stability through a $40 million endowment from Community Foundation of Greater Memphis, providing approximately $2 million annually. Dr. Davis believes one of the biggest challenges facing the college isn't one of finances, it's one of what he calls reintroducing the college to Memphis and beyond. We're going to get out there, we're going to tell the Lamorne Owen story, and we believe that we're going to offer, quite simply, a superior product, that we're, our focus is on becoming the school of choice. For your news leader in South Memphis, I'm Mike Suriani, WREG News Channel 3. And President Davis is credited with bringing men's volleyball to the campus and has his sights on revitalizing existing campus facilities and infrastructure. All right. The institution has a proud history here in Memphis. Yes.